Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a very useful website which you can use it for reviewing the lessons with the students or you can use it as a platform to get the student engaged in the learning activity as well. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so now what do we have to do? First of all, you have to know that website, correct? So I'd like you to jot down the name. It's www.uzol.com. Um, then hit enter. Well, it will take you directly to that website. Here it is. So if you have to look at the top right corner, you see contact us, sign in, and sign up for free. So you haven't had the account for this website before. So you will like to click on sign up for free first. Okay, and here is the place where you have to fill in the information before you can use the website. Um, in, in fact, you can use this, this website for two ways. First, you can create your account already and after that you create your own games. And second, maybe you also can browse through the available resources from other teachers, but I recommend you to create ones, okay, for your students so that it fits with the student's level. Okay, now, here it is. So just the name, you want your name to appear, um, you know, under the game that you have created. So let's say, in that case, I create Mr. Chien an email, that's my email, um, mchin2020. In fact, I use uh, another account to create already, but for the purpose of showing it to you, so I have to create a new Gmail and use it to create, okay? So, uh, username, Gmail, and password. Just keep in mind that password, in this case, you need to make it at least eight characters characters so it should be the combination of lowercase uppercase and numbers so I will use you no know, don't you don't need to, to know what it is but when you create by yourself you have to create at least eight characters okay so mm -hmm. Okay, let me double check my password one more time. All right. Okay, after you fill in every information here, you will need to click on sign up. All right, so wait a little bit. Here it is. So, almost there, just click the link in your email to finish. Okay, now you don't have to do anything else anymore. Um, the website requires you to confirm uh, your email, whether you are an authentic user or not. Okay, so now I go to my Gmail. If you have Hotmail, then go to your Hotmail. Okay, so, okay, I sign in with my Gmail. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, nice. So I will click on updates, and after that, I will. Okay, 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 thank you. Oh, okay, wow, 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 okay. So save so that next time I don't have to type the password again. So bamboozle, click on it, and after that, click, please click here to verify your. Yeah, you, you should do that, yes, okay. Okay, here it is. So account has been verified, sign in below. So now, uh, technically speaking, you have already created your account for uh, Bamboozle website. Okay, so here. Okay, so email and password. And you should click on keep me signed in so that next time when you just uh, type the name, the, the address of the website, then you don't have to, uh, to retype everything again. Okay, just type in the password you just created for this website a moment ago. And then you should click on sign in. 
Okay, now here it is, okay? Uh, if you want to create games by yourself, then you should click on, you know, make game. And over here for the title, you need to create the title for the game. And if you want to choose the image for the title, I mean, like when you open up, then you see the title and image, you can do it. Okay, and here the description of the game. So let's say, I just make one example for you. So title, let's say, um, okay, reviewing, reviewing vocabulary about animals, okay? And it, the description will say, for example, there are 10 items okay, in this quiz, this quiz, okay? Um, okay, that maybe that's all, okay? And then click on make game, all right? Okay, question. Question here is uh, the, the statement, the questions that you, you make, and make sure there's an answer. So let's say, okay, an animal, which lives in a jungle. It is so huge. Okay, so huge. It has a law. It has a law. It has a trunk and two tasks. Okay, and two tasks. Okay. It eats, uh, it eats uh, plants okay. and leaves, for example. Okay. I'm sure you know what it is. And here you also can um, use the preset score. It can be 5 points, it can be 10 points, it can be 15, 20, or 25. Okay. After you're done with it, you need to write the answer. What is the answer for that? So. Can you guess? Yeah, of course. It's an elephant. 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 Okay. And when you're done, click on Saved. Okay. Now, Save here doesn't mean you save and then you stop. You save here, it means, if you see number one, it means you have already created one question. Okay, one question. And then if you want to create more questions, go to a question here in the time and the right answer. If you finished, let's say you finished, then just go straight to my games. Okay, and here's yours. So let's say you want to play this game with the student after you created 10 items already, click on it, and after that, click on play. Okay, and here it gives you some information. The step how to play. First, you need to create some. Uh, you need to make some teams. Uh, only two teams are available for the moment. Okay, and then the team will take turn choosing the question, and you will know what it is. Uh, just in a moment now, say the answer, then hit the check button. So the student need to answer the question by saying orally. Okay, they can't click on anything, they have to speak. This is the reason why I think it's so good platform for you to use as a tool to engage the students in your your lesson, especially to give uh, to create the fun in the classroom and also to to get the student busy working together. Okay now if you click on quiz it simply means just uh, let the student play with it, answer the question, and if questions and power up here, there will be some uh, bonuses, the same to classic with uh, uh, simple recording. So just go to questions and the rest you can explore more by yourself. Uh, okay, in fact, sorry, in fact, not only two teams, you can create three teams or four teams, and if you want to know more, then here, you can click on um, options, and then there will be more uh, options for you, all right? So for me, I just choose two teams. Uh, and for you, it depends on how many students you have in your class. If you have so many students, then maybe you can create even four teams, okay? So now when you're done with it, just click on quiz. Okay. And now, if there are 10 items, it will show the 10 items over here, all right? So let's say I go to the questions that I already made, so over here. Um, here is my game that I created. Guess the word. It's about natural disasters. If you click on the game that you already made, 
Yeah, and then you will see these are the 10 templates uh, that I already created, okay? So you want to play with students, just click on play. And after that, okay, and after that you, you can click on quiz. Okay, then you can see here there are 10 boxes, okay? And it's so cool, you know, let's say there are two teams over here and the students will click on just, let's say, number one, team one, we start first, of course, team one, okay? And then you read and you give them, you know, enough time uh, for them to think about it. And it's good if you can set the, the uh, time limit so that the students will have to work within the time limit, okay? So when the mountain, uh, when the mountain filled with super hot liquid rock explodes, uh, which can destroy uh, everything that surrounds it. So the student will guess, what is that? What's that? Maybe they say uh, volcano, maybe they say vo vo volcanic eruption, things like that. So after the student gives you the answer, you have to click on check. And so team one and team two also get to see whether the answer is right or not. So the score is given by teacher, of course. Okay, here. If it, if you click on oops, it means the answer is not correct. If you click on OK, it means the answer is correct. And it will give the scores to the team which answer correctly. Uh, the end team who answered correctly, okay? So click on this team will get 15 points. Again, the, 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 the points here refer to the points that you set. If you set it's five points, then it's going to be five points, five points, all right? Okay, and then you get to play the rest, and then you take turns. Team two will have to answer, and it's quite fun, okay? Storm, if it is wrong, this, and then the team who answer wrong will not get the, the answer, okay? So you play this until the end, and of course, how about if you have no time, or simply say you don't want to create games by yourself, but you just want to play the games which are created by others, and uh, those games also match with your class levels. It, it fits the student's ability. So let's go to games. And after that, you will see several, several games which have already been created. Okay. So let's say you want to play comparative games. So click on it. And after that, it's, it looks like it's yours. Okay. But first, you have to understand what it is okay let's say play and after that you have to okay questions just let's say um in total here we have let's say if you want to create four teams up to you yeah and choose uh, option let's limit the time yes time so it should be <coughs> oh, sorry okay so uh pass button choose who choose i don't know it just click on off okay quiz okay here it comes so there's up to 16 question okay in fact you can limit the question as well okay now uh, in some cases you don't want to have team one team two team three team four you want to name the team so click on this uh, pencil icon and you can name it let's say tiger team let's say lion Say elephant, and you also say let's say, mm hmm hmm okay bat okay that's difficult to make a decision, bat okay and then click on okay so yeah the names of the teams have been configured it have been changed to this okay and we will play the same way so make a sentence. So 20 seconds is slow, okay, maybe uh, Captain America is stronger than this guy, maybe, okay, let's okay. So this one, it gives the option to um, the, the students and also it, 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 it gives the flexibility to the teachers and students as well. If it is acceptable, yeah, maybe they say this guy is stronger than this guy, it's also possible. Okay. That's correct and then it moves to the next team. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can drop your comments below. And it's good if you can explore by yourself first. I'm sure that it's not real difficult and uh, you need to spend time discovering more by yourself. And I like to encourage you to create games or materials by yourself. 
it's good to use other people's uh, materials too if you have no time. But it is just my personal perspective. If you want to become creative, you need to learn to create. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you again if there is anything else that is good, uh, useful for all of you. Bye bye.